On this week's episode, Lucas and I are going to bring the heat and answer some burning questions. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast. This is episode 246 for the 2nd of April, 2020. This is the show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Kent, and Amos is not with me this week. Yep, We've I'm got my son, Lucas. Lucas yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hopefully you guys are familiar with, with Luke. He's been on the show uh, plenty of times before. A few goes, times, yeah. Goes uh, by Movie Man Lucas on various places on the internet. Um, we've even done some podcasts together. Uh, yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, Film Zone. We've got some things in the works, though, that if everything goes according to plan, we'll have a brand new podcast that we're pretty excited mm. to present. Um, but man, okay, so um, it's week, what, three, I think, of the of the, the craziness? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, finishing up 2020 here. We're going to have 2021 <laughs> soon, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I, I actually went back to work this week, which is crazy because everybody's stopping work and I had to go back to work. Mm. Uh, apparently I'm mission essential. Wow. Look at this I guy. Don't <laughs> I don't know, but we're doing, we're, we're trying to practice some degree of social distancing. So we're doing uh, like an A team, B team thing and we never interact with, with the opposite team so that if, if someone does become infected, then it only if, if infects that team and not not the other one um we're doing a lot of disinfecting we've got uh, clorox wipes we've got hand sanitizer just all over the place um we're having very limited interaction with other work centers and things like that so uh i mean it is what it is uh mm. i'm working this week i'll be off next week so more time to do projects and, yeah. and uh, get ready for our so much time podcast. for activities yeah i know uh, pretty crazy. Are, you're not at work right now. No, I am not. I usually work at a sporting goods store, and uh, well, that's not really essential. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not um, working this week. Probably not next week. Not the week after. And you're I a big know. you're a big sports guy, right? So this is a, oh like... yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, last thing I thought I was gonna work at was a sporting goods store, but you know things happen. It's quite fun though. Yeah, so uh, you're not into sports games all that much, but you do like games, right, of, of some type? Well, yeah, <laughs> that's a weird way to put it. <laughs> um, you want to so, play a game? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, so we've talked on the show before about you being a, a DM for Dungeons & Dragons, so that's yep. something that you do. Uh, but video games is another thing that we... It's a shared interest of mm -hmm. ours. And uh, last week on the show... We t well, you weren't on last week's show, but Amos and I talked about the At Games Legends Ultimate arcade machine and how I had ordered one and I was super excited for this thing to come in. And guess what? It came in a couple days ago. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will. Or I'll show you right here. So that's what the machine looks like. And uh, it looks even better in my house. Um, probably in the post show, I'll give you guys a little tour of the bar area. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another change that we've got going on right now is that I'm not in my normal studio. We're working out of my bar. And um, hopefully this this goes really well. I know the lighting's probably just a little bit off, um, but I'm not trying to pretend like I have the greatest audio yeah. <laughs> anyway, so um, but anyway, so stick around Back for the post in beta, show, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stick around for the post show, and I'll I'll show you some of that. Um, but before we move on, uh, we've been playing some games over the last yeah. couple of days. With that, uh, what what is the the favorite game that you've played on it? Um. So I've definitely gone back and played a bunch of uh, games that I'm used to, like Miss Pac Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, that kind of thing. But started playing some of the games I've never tried out such as the Genesis games, never played on a Genesis. And I actually really enjoyed the Aladdin version of it, as well as Gargoyles. Those mm. are those are actually really fun. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was a big SNES guy. And, of course, it's, it's almost like the Windows versus Mac 
kind of thing where if you're a SNES guy, then then screw Genesis uh-huh. and vice versa, right? It's kind of like the Xbox and PlayStation uh-huh. crowd today. And um, so I didn't I didn't play a lot of Genesis either. Um, so it's it's pretty neat to have those games available on this machine. Mm-hmm. I'll have to say from my perspective. The surprise hit for me on this game is Golden Tee Golf. Oh, uh-huh. oh my God, that game is so <laughs> much fun. Um, of course, you know, played uh, Street Fighter II yep. and Killer Instinct. A lot of that, yeah. Uh, yeah, the the old uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game mm-hmm. and the Simpsons arcade. Yep. And uh, those are all classics and amazing, amazing games. Um, but so far, I think Golden Tee has been the standout for me. That game is just, it's crack. It's crack, and I, I think as soon as this episode is over, I'm going to go play some more of that. Oh, uh, for not dying, of course, right? <clears throat> the yeah. best thing about well, it, though, is the trackball that's on there. You just spin it, and like it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a blast. And like I said a couple of minutes ago, that if, if you want to see what that's like, stick around for the post show. And for the podcast listeners, if you want to get the post shows, you need to become a Patreon of ours over at patreon.com slash ritualmisery. Right now, we have paused our campaign. That means that we are not taking your money. So if you subscribe to our Patreon, become one of our patrons and support us, you're going to show your support through your presence, uh, not financially. Uh, Amos and I made the decision probably about a month ago to go ahead and pause our campaign because everybody's having uh, uh, financial, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are having financial difficulties right now, and they have to make some hard decisions about who they can support and who they can't. Amos and I do not depend on Patreon for our income to pay our bills. So we decided to take the step to pause our campaign so that if you want to support creators that, that do depend on that income, that you can transition it over to them. But the great thing is you don't have to stop being our patron. In fact, we encourage everybody to go in there if you're not already. Become a patron. Pledge whatever you want. Pledge a dollar. Uh, and we, we're not going to charge you, but you get all of the benefits for being a patron. And that includes the pre-shows and the post-shows and exclusive interviews and all kinds of just weird random content that Amos mm-hmm. and I come up with. Um, you and I have been doing some some videos lately, testing out the oh, the OBS is that setup. On Patreon? That it might be. It's, um, you're gonna have to go it's, to Patreon.com/slash/RitualMisery yep. and find out. Um, all right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, obviously, we're on a different set, mm-hmm. and you can already see for the video viewers, you can see in front of us, we've got ten bottles of hot sauce laying in front of us, oh. and we've got some chicken on a plate. <laughs> Uh, have you guys ever seen the YouTube series Hot Ones? Amazing show. You guys got to check it out. I'm going to have a, a link in the show notes for that. We've been watching a lot of that lately since mm-hmm. we're kind of semi-quarantined. So we, we got been... nothing else to do. Okay, yes. guys. <laughs> and uh, we decided we want to have our crack at Hot Ones, but we're going to throw our own little Diamond Club twist on it. Instead of using Hot Wings... We're using chicky nugs. Yeah, nugs. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the reason, of course, that we decided to go with chicken nuggets is because of uh, this little clip right here. Nugs, 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 gotta get them. Nugs, 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 gotta get them. Nugs. <laughs> of course, that's uh, that. That is Will Harris that you guys were hearing uh, with Mike TV uh, playing the guitar in the background. This is from the Nerdtacular 2017 Night Attack. Uh, Will Harris famously created the Nugs song completely on the fly. And it's become something of a, of a theme song. Every time I walk down the frozen aisle of the grocery store, that song comes into my head. <laughs> so instead of using hot wings, we're going to use nugs. It's amazing actually hearing the song like in person instead of hearing his version of it just randomly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, what we're going to do is just like hot ones, we are going to ask interview questions. But instead of having a single host asking the guest 
interview questions, we're going to take turns. Since we're co-hosting, we're going to take turns asking each other questions as we try these hot sauces. Now, I need to also point out, with these hot sauces, they are a complete mystery to us. Mm -hmm. We know what the names of them are, but that's it. We don't know the Scovels. We don't know anything about them. These are from a gift pack, actually, that I got for a white elephant Christmas gift <laughs> uh, just a couple of months ago. Yeah. And I don't know. The labels are pretty much blank other than the name that they assign to the sauces. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to kind of do them in order. They're not going to progress, probably, in order uh, of, like, of heat. Yeah. But maybe. I don't know. Uh, we could so, start with the worst one or... <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be wild um so without any further ado lucas who who should go first do you want to go first uh you go first i go first uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so, uh all right um okay i tell you what i i will go ahead and ask my first question okay to you uh, but before we do that Let's go ahead and get our first nug out of the way. All right. So this one is called Fiji Mango Habanero. Okay. So I'm guessing there's some habanero in there. I don't know. Uh, they don't even <laughs> list the ingredients on this thing. So Yeah, this is terrifying. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and, and dab. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh I, no! Oh no! That one's a little runny, so I got quite a bit on my on my nug there. Okay. Uh, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be careful, <laughs> or not. <laughs> okay. 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 You got it. Yeah. All right. Ready? Ready? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. This one's kind of sweet. Yeah, yeah. There's just the slightest bit of of heat. Yeah, Not even just, really heat. Just like it's pretty mild, to be honest. There's just mm-hmm. a slight kick on the tongue. Um, but that's a really sweet sauce. Okay. All right, they stay at this level. We're gonna be fine. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know so. if this, it gets way worse or if this is the weakest one. Yeah. It's just so. <laughs> gives a slight reminder, like, hey, it's a hot sauce, but that's it. Like, that's that's not bad. Yeah. It's, I, I actually kind of like this. I, this is something I would use on, on chicken. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely a lot better than Tabasco or, or you know, most of your generic sauces. Mm-hmm. Um, but, okay, so here we go. So this first question actually came from I Am Squiticus in Discord. Oh, okay. I had to come up with all my questions, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I kind of cheated a little bit. I got a little bit of help from my uh-huh. Discord friends, uh, which you can become a part of if you go over to bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Hop in there. Uh, we're always having conversations about stuff with the show, and uh, maybe next time you can contribute to uh, questions like this. All right. You're just always plugging. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I've been a podcaster for a minute. It's what we do. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, I am Squidicus would like me to ask. Now that you are an adult... Oh, what is something your dad told you that you didn't believe, but now say, I should have listened? Oh, man. See, I was like, I'm going to answer any question. It's going to be, I'm going to be real prepared for it. But like, <laughs> now that I'm on the spot, what have you told me? I don't, I don't tell you anything. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this makes for compelling radio. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no. I, just thinking about it. First, first thought. You told me about how government stuff is. You know, like oh, it's crazy. Nothing. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's alienate some audiences here. Uh, no, uh, you've told me about just how little we're we're told with taxes and stuff like that, and uh, now having to do that on my own. Uh, really, we're not prepared at all. Like. Like I know what numbers are, but just trying to just trying to figure things out, uh, you really got to do the research on your own. Yeah, so. yeah. A lot of the adulting type stuff you don't you don't learn about it in school. So mm. hopefully you've got a good parent or 
or someone else, another adult Good figure. Good researching skills yeah. at the least. Yeah, uh, somebody to help you out with things like taxes and, and um, you know, just life skills. Really. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, but uh, nothing that you rejected at the time and then found out that, oh, crap, dad was right. Um, I, I'll say it if it comes up in my head. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, so let's move on. You ready to move on to the next? Yeah, what's the, the next, next one? Us? All right. So this one's actually called British Red. Do Brits have hot sauce? Oh, obviously. Uh, so, all right. This is obviously imported. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So this one, uh, this one seems like it's a little bit thicker, anyway. So hopefully, this one doesn't spill everywhere like the other one did. Um. Oh yeah, this one's got to be coaxed out a little bit. Ooh, I still got quite a bit on there. Oh man. All right. There you go. This could be real bad if any of these are really. really I know. <laughs> okay. You get some coat, some ghost oh, peppers oh, or something oh. like that, and uh, we end up drenching our our nug. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Thoughts? Easily, this one's weaker than the first one, I think. I think so too. Not surprised at all. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. For a British sauce. Um, also, I think this one's got a little more of a, a vinegar kick to it so i don't i don't care for it that much it's one thing that i don't care for um tabasco uh one reason i don't care for tabasco all that much because mm -hmm. it's very heavy on the vinegar and yeah yeah it's not all that hot but the the vinegar is just i don't know it's overpowering mm -hmm. to me so all right what you got for me so my question <clears throat> uh starts out a little a little basic mm. so you, you're a well-traveled man you've been all over the northern hemisphere, at least. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what country did you enjoy the most, just visiting wise, hmm. and why? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I've been to a lot of places I've really enjoyed. I think um, for work, like if it's a work trip, I think the the best place I ever went was Sweden. Sweden. Um, I went to Sweden in the like late spring, early summertime, so I didn't have to deal with the you know the crazy cold mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, but Sweden is a very, very beautiful country. Uh, the landscapes are amazing. The, I mean, hell, the people are beautiful. Um, everything's great about it. Uh, everyone that I met was very, very, very nice. Uh, nobody had any kind of, um, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Like a uh, meanness, I guess, uh, toward foreigners. Everybody was very welcoming and mm. um and there was a coffee shop on literally every corner. Mm. Sometimes more than one. I was on one intersection where there was a coffee shop on all four corners. <laughs> so it was, uh, it, it was nice. I, I really enjoyed going there. Uh, but completely for leisure, um, I had a lot of fun in Belgium. I uh, went to Belgium probably three or four times. We for, drove for through leisure. it a ton yeah, of Yeah, we times. drove through it a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially when we were going to England. We, yep. we had to go through Belgium to get to the edge of France, basically, to yep. get on the ferry to, to go across the English Channel. Um, but yeah. It's, we went to so many monasteries yeah, in Belgium. Monasteries and castles. Well, not so many castles in, in Belgium, but uh -huh. all over Germany, lots of castles. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Europe. I just, I'm just going to say Europe as a whole. Can I just say Europe? Yeah. I love gonna... Europe. <laughs> so good. Um. Yeah, good question. I yeah, there's a lot of I could talk all I could talk yeah, an entire yeah. episode just about places <laughs> I visited in Europe. Um, good stuff. All right. So what's the next uh, hot sauce? Oh boy. Next up we have Egyptian fire scarab sauce. Okay, well, we're not gonna be understandable after this <laughs> one. So <laughs> yeah. So all right. Egyptian fire, huh? Oh man. Let's see. Let's see if they can bring the heat. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. And all right. You you got a nice controlled dab going on there. Yeah. I'm very good at that. All right. All right. There we go. <clears throat> okay. This 
one's a little spicier. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, it keeps getting warmer, too. Yeah, it's persisting. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, it really is continuing. Oh, man. Yeah, this, by far. Out of the three so far, this is by far the hottest one. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Starting to feel a little heat, like on my jaw. Mm. Feel a... Uh, some sweat starting to beat up on my forehead uh, a little bit. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, but, yeah. Definitely hotter than the others. <clears throat> starting to All right. salivate a little bit. It's... Yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> All right. So, your second question. I'm, I wrote this one myself. Okay. I didn't cheat for this one. All right. You are about four years older than your brother, Isaac. When you guys were younger, I would sometimes catch you picking on him. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what is an example of big brother cruelty that you inflicted on Isaac? Okay, well, I, I can think of a couple already just right away. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this would be a fun one. Yeah, so uh, obviously, you know, big brother wants to be player one or just play a game. So I would obviously uh, give him another controller that's not plugged in and just be like, oh, look at you, you're playing. That's, yeah, that's classic. I did that to Isaac. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when he's like two years old or yeah. something, like he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. <clears throat> well, one thing I definitely did that's uh, kind of similar to that is, uh, you know, we'd be watching TV, you know, cable of back in the olden days. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, he wasn't able to read yet, and I knew what episodes or shows that he didn't like. So I would read what, what the descriptions were for the episodes and tell him, like, oh, it's this it's this thing again that you don't like. And he's like, oh, okay. Uh, well, then you can pick Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I did that. You're such a mean ass. I did that quite a bit, actually. Wow. That was, that was great. Um, yeah. That's, man. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm quite ready for for the next one. That one kind of got me. No, no, we, we got to let it stack. Let's, let's get to the next one. Yeah? You ready? Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, this one is called Texas Smoky Chipotle oh, Sauce. No. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it. Chipotle should be a lot milder. Mm -hmm. This one, um, I mean, it, hopefully it's got a little bit of heat, but, but also I think it... I, I just hope it cut it coats the last one because that one you can probably hear it on the audio podcast too. It's like my tongue is <laughs> feeling hot because it's yeah. like all tingly. Um, yeah, so smoky chipotle. Um, not expecting this one to be super hot. And I I hear Texas and I'm just yeah freaked out. yeah Texas. That's got me a little bit worried. Um, but we shall see. Oh, this one. Careful with that one. It's a little runny as well. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oof. <clears throat> okay. I think it's milder. At least so far. <clears throat> you got a question queued up for me? <clears throat> yeah, that oh, one's man. all right. Um, got some sweat forming on you. Yeah, I, I see <laughs> a little bit under your, your eyes, too. <laughs> see, I like to eat Chinese food a, a few times, so I feel like I'm a little more <laughs> able. Uh, so... What is your favorite unforeseen thing that's come from podcasting? Oh, so like something I didn't expect to happen, but was a result from podcasting? Yep. Mm. You didn't sign up for it, but. Okay, that's a good question. <clears throat> Actually, I'm, I'm taking my first sip of water. So, there was a couple things that that were a little unexpected. So, in the... In the early, well, I say the early, the earlier part of um, Ritual Misery's days, 
<clears throat> before we really got um, integrated into like Diamond Club TV and stuff like mm -hmm. that, we were trying to get the biggest guests we could get. Shoot for the moon and, and see what happens. And um, <clears throat> so I was emailing and tweeting at all kinds of celebrities, mm -hmm. uh, people that I didn't think I had a chance at getting. But you know what? Uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah. Well, I got a very quick response from Margaret Weiss, one of my favorite authors of all time. And she said, yes, I would be delighted to be on your show. That was unexpected. Um, even though I was hoping for it and, and going for it, um, to get that response from her uh, wasn't expected. So that was really great. Um, and then the other thing that came to my mind that was unexpected, um, so that Nerdtacular show that uh, where the Nugs song originated, uh -huh. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, there were a lot of people there from the Diamond Club and uh, Tadpool communities, and I didn't realize how, um, I guess, how far the RMP reach had gone, mm -hmm. because I had people coming up to me and like, "Oh my God, you're you're Kent from Ritual Misery," <laughs> and I, I did not know how to react. That's because really I. Cool. I didn't expect it at all. Like I was expecting to see people, uh, like from chat realm. Like I would see their name tag and know who they were based on their name, mm -hmm. and just like, oh hey, what's up? I'm Del Noche in chat. Like oh, nice to meet you. Stuff like that. You know, and vice versa. People see my name tag and whatnot. But to have somebody multiple times, people would come up to me and say, like, oh my God, you're Kent from Ritual Misery. Oh Jesus. <laughs> um, even one person asked me to sign their whatever their I don't know. It was like a poster or something. I was like. Oh my God, this is really happening. This is so cool. Uh, that was not expected. I didn't expect it to have any like degree of, I guess, celebrity. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, as minor as it was, that was kind of a cool moment. So, yeah. No, that's awesome. Really oh, cool, yeah. but definitely unexpected. <laughs> All right. So, with this sauce, we will be halfway through. Oh, okay. Oh, no. This one's called Mayan <laughs> Ruins. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. I think my my nostrils are going to be ruined. <clears throat> you know, we could have done five, but we... <laughs> hey, they do ten on hot ones, right? Wow. Well, so... <laughs> they do way worse, too. So we're, That's we're, true. We're actually doing quite a bit less. Yeah, there's not going to be anything in this that's like two million Scoville. Like, God, would... no, no. At least I fucking hope not. Uh, there, yeah. There better not be. Uh, but if there is, it will take us by surprise and probably mm. kill us. <laughs> All right. My mouth is still burning from the last couple. Yeah. I'm going to try to oh, be this one's clear. Okay. a little gentler on this. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or, or if it's a bad omen <laughs> that it's clear. <clears throat> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, hopefully this one's not bad. Did you get a little excess on there? Yeah. Oh. All right, I'll take care of it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Man, I am really just like sweating over here. Mm. <clears throat> I think this one has the least taste. I can't really tell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one's a milder one, which is good because I think I was ready for a milder one. Yeah. <clears throat> I think my problem at this point isn't so much the sauce, but it's how much chicken I'm eating right now. <laughs> yeah, he ate right before I. I yeah, I screwed away. up and I had a, a plate of pasta <laughs> <laughs> before the show. Uh, that was probably a bad idea. Get the <clears throat> right up before before I run. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <clears throat> How are you doing, sinuses and, uh, and sweat glands and whatnot? I'm. My my eyes feel a little puffy. My tongue is feeling quite on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Other than that, I think I'm all right. So. Yeah, I am. Uh, <sighs> I'm washing this down with beer, which I don't know if it's smart or wise to do so. 
um, just having a Sierra Nevada pale ale. Mm-hmm. Uh, whew, I a do lot have... of people. Oh, good. I was just gonna say a lot of people swear by milk or certain like sugar concoctions or something like that, but I think universally people come out of the hot ones experience and say nothing helps, mm-hmm. nothing does. So I figured I'll just stick with my normal beer and not not try gimmicks. That being said, I have water and I have some bread off the camera. Yeah. Or I think it's just able to be seen. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Oh, my gosh. So you have a question <sighs> for me? I do. <clears throat> All right. So this one's fun. This one... <laughs> Oh, excuse me. This one is from Bad Weave in the Discord. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I posted in Discord your Twitter, oh, and Kevin, okay. uh, Bad Weave, went diving through. Oh, no. I barely tweet at all, so I'm so sorry for the boring mm-hmm. uh, dive. <laughs> Bad Weave says, I think we're going to need a deep dive on this social media pic. Specifically... When we can expect to see live streams in costume. So oh, the, <laughs> so the picture is, is <laughs> pulled up now on uh, on screen. For the audio podcast listeners, go into the show notes and you will see a link of this. Um, so describe. How would you describe this this picture? Okay, well, so I remember taking this picture, D- Dad. Uh, he, he took the picture. Uh, so I've, I've worn this costume way too many times. Uh, I've worn it for Halloween twice and maybe four or five times outside of Halloween for other reasons. Yeah. And I, I always, <laughs> I always call you a giant cock. Yeah. When you wear well, it. Yep. yeah. Um, so I was supporting a Kickstarter for a board game called Battle for Chicken Island. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't come yet, but I'm excited. And one of the stretch goals uh, wasn't through money. You had to actually do social media things to get bonuses. So, which is clever. That's a that's a really cool thing because not only is that <clears throat> does that inspire you to like you know help them unlock more things, but it also it's like free promotion basically for them. Mm. So pretty cool. Yeah. So one of the things that they had is. Send us uh, playing a game while wearing a chicken costume. I'm like, whoa! I have a chicken costume. I gotta, I gotta do this. So here I am. I think that's the Transformers card game. Yeah. That, yep. Not Hasbro. Uh, Wizards did. Yeah. Wizards of the Coast. They do. I might. Yeah, yeah. They, they do Magic the Gathering usually. So this is. This is the game that they did. It's all right. It's it's more collectible than fun, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it was fun to play a couple of times, but then it, like, it doesn't have a whole lot of replay value, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but that uh, I'm excited for the board game when that comes out. It's going to be a huge bunch of moving pieces. It's going to be fun. Yeah. All right. Well, right on. Um, our next hot sauce is called Cuban Fuego. Mm-hmm. Um, if they're going to go that far, why didn't they just call it Fuego Cubano? But, you know, whatever. Who am I to judge? <laughs> Let's see how hot this one is going to be. Man, I've still got some of that sauce from yeah. the first bottle. Oh, this I, I've one's seen just, two different bottles Yeah, this there. one's just... I've got one of my nugs just <laughs> marinating in the first sauce. Oh, my gosh. That one wasn't too bad, though, so... Yeah, that's right, so... It just might be be bad tasting, maybe. All right, so that one starts to come out slow, and then it wants to just kind of pour out after that, so be careful with that one. Okay. I'm I'm actually starting to feel the chicken thing. I I feel so sorry for you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, hey, we're... We'll be halfway... Oh. Oh, we're halfway already. We'll be over halfway through once we eat this one, so I'm not... I'm not too worried about it. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm 
Just reading chat. <laughs> no. <clears throat> they are pretty big nugs. I thought they were small when I when I first opened the package. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it was just the ones on top. <laughs> Lucas pulled out the biggest ones, I think, out of the package. They're, they're the most meaty, <clears throat> right? <laughs> yeah. And if you're interested, these are the <clears throat> these are the Tyson chicken breast nuggets. I think is what they're called, right? Um, they're kind of fancier, they're not the the ones that you you know you buy for your your mm -hmm. kids or whatever. You had to get that by default. Yeah, because I went to the commissary. So my first day back to work was on Tuesday. And after work, I went to the commissary on the base to get some chicken nuggets, and this is all they had mm. <laughs> were these fancy nugs. Oh man, this one <clears throat> really came in for the ambush just now. Ooh. Oh, you're right. I was gonna comment on how boring this one was. <clears throat> nope, there it is. <laughs> Especially the tip of my tongue. The tip of my yeah, tongue is like yep. on fire right now. Ooh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh man. Yep. That one might actually be hotter than that other one we were talking about. Oh damn! I got it on my lips now. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you gotta shove the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, I can't chew this thing fast enough. I just want to swallow it and get it away. <laughs> Go away. Oh, man. I'm really starting to sweat now. <clears throat> oh, man. Why am I, like, sweating on my neck? I never sweat on my neck. <laughs> oh, this is gross to see. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, just one of, the, one of the first times I was on here, uh, we ended up talking about quite a few subjects. One of them being the Harambe incident. Oh. Oh, our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Well, I guess my question is, what what is your new thoughts about him, about Harambe, after so much time thinking about the, the incidents? Well, um, I heard that they were they were cloning him or <laughs> or that uh, they, they stored his seed or something like that? Uh yeah, the second one. So <laughs> So, well, my, my first thought of that was he has risen. He has returned <laughs> to us. Um, <clears throat> no, that's funny, though, because we were talking about it when it was news. Yeah. We were just talking about, like, oh, man, the Cincinnati Zoo had to put down a gorilla. And, you know, whatever. we were just talking mm. about it as a news item. Then it quickly became a meme. Yeah, and the it meme was, came uh, out after we started talking about it. We were just talking about it, like, seriously. And then the real seriousness came from the memes, right? So Right, yeah. And then uh, Diamond Club took it even a bit further, and it became its own Diamond Club meme. Uh, man, <laughs> crazy how that blew up. Because if, if it hadn't become a meme, and you said to me today, this many years later, the name Harambe? Uh-huh. Like who? Yeah, I, I don't think I know him. Who is that? <clears throat> His spirit will live on. <laughs> oh man, uh, Curtis, <laughs> Curtis in the chat <clears throat> said this is the podcast Cincinnati Zoo didn't want you to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! <clears throat> man, my nose is running out too. Yeah. Oh, Do you need geez. another? Uh... No, I'm good. I, I've got a whole roll right here. Yeah. Um, don't tell people that we have a whole roll of dinner well it's like a half a roll of paper towels here mm -hmm. uh, we're ho hoarding half a roll of paper towels in our house don't tell the neighbors oh please please don't <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my gosh man my mouth is burning right now oh did i mention before that i'm not really a hot sauce guy i don't know if i told the audience that um uh, I don't hate so hot sauces generally, uh, but I'm more of a like barbecue sauce or like a, uh, like a, more of a you know sweet sauce, you know sweet mm. and sour uh, things he like that. He means ranch <laughs> or ranch. Yep, yep. yep I'll, yep. <laughs> like chicken nuggets, I'll definitely dip in ranch. Um, yeah, barbecue sauce. If I had to name like my favorite type of sauce, it'd, it'd almost certainly be barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. um, the smokier tasting, the better. Um, man, my tongue is just on fire. Mm -hmm. oh. See, sometimes wow. I have peppers here and there, 
Like, we get some pizza and it comes with peppers. I, I usually brave through that. And uh, I feel like that might be worse than any of these. So, <laughs> Bad Wave says, when it comes to sauces, Kent's a lover, not a fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, so, yeah. So, Harame lives. Yep. Dicks out. <sighs> yeah, dicks out for Harame. <laughs> All right, this one shouldn't be too bad, I'm hoping. What is it? This one's called Caliente Jalapeno Salsa Picante. So, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, jalapeno, it's a sweeter pepper, usually. Yeah. This one's noticeably the only non-red one that we have. This one's a greenish-yellow color. <sighs> Uh, yeah, Bad Weave says famous last words. Yep. Oh, man. I'm going to try to not get too much on there. There we go. Okay. Just enough to add some flavor. Oh, man. Oh. See, I was doing really well with uh, not spilling at all, and now I'm just only spilling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Curtis. Curtis says he loves green chili. Yet another reason you need to come to New Mexico, because the great debate in New Mexico is red or green. Yep. And referring to the chilies, of course. Um, hatch chili peppers are world-renowned, and they come from New Mexico. Um, I am team green myself. I like green chili mm -hmm. quite a bit. Uh, do you have a preference, red or green? Uh, Probably red, but I, I really, that's just experience, not, not mm. enough trying, honestly. Yeah. Well, I think it's one of those things like, <clears throat> one, it's what you eat it on mm. uh, that might make a difference. And and also, uh, taste buds do change. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I'm a green guy right now, or I say I'm a green guy, um, but that's all I've had for probably two, three years. I haven't mm. had red for a while. So maybe I'll try red now and be like, ooh, you know what? Forget green. Yeah, um, always changing, right? Yeah, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. <clears throat> all right, here we go. <clears throat> all right i don't really care for the flavor of this but on heat it's pretty mild yeah i'm just trying to wait for it for it to finally kick in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it might might take a sec all right <clears throat> all right i think we're good while we're while we're waiting <laughs> on uh flavor to kick in <clears throat> all right so speaking of green wow you even prepared this transition too oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> that's right i didn't that's funny so green gun guy in discord wants to know what is a habit or mannerism you picked up from your dad so, oh okay so me uh, I know when you were little, a lot of people said that you were like a, a clone of me or a mirror image of me. <clears throat> Is there something that that you can think of that you've kind of picked up either subconsciously or, or genetically from me? So I've, I definitely have a lot of features from, from dad here. Uh, just a lot of my personality is very <laughs> similar to his. Uh, you know, just starting from just interest, nerdy stuff, uh, movies, all that kind mm. of things. That, that definitely that explains why you're not an athlete. Whoa, yeah. No, uh, <laughs> you definitely got that from me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, if, uh, for. Hot sauce is making it hard to think. I'm it really is, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of all over the place mm -hmm. mentally right now. Oh, yeah, mannerisms. Uh, I, I I would say uh, probably taking forever in the bathroom. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's. Hey, you gotta you gotta give that poop some time to. To make its way out. 
tenderize the meat. You don't want to. You don't. Yeah. You don't want to force anything. Oh in there. no! I, I chose the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I, I'm t- I'm saying the things. I'm adding to the ritual misery lore that you guys will not ever hear. So. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh my god. We've got three left. Oh yeah. I think uh, I could do it. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident. I know we can. Um uh, normally if we stay on schedule, we've got like maybe maybe fifteen minutes at the most. Alright, yeah. To do Five this minutes in. a wing? Yeah. Or nug? <clears throat> Nugs. Yeah. Nugs. Nugs. <laughs> All right. Oh, um Squid's mixtape renewed his uh, Twitch subscription, so thank you, Squid. Oh, that's awesome. Um, all right. <clears throat> wow. Bourbon. Oh, New Orleans bourbon pepper hot sauce. <sighs> okay. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. I'm trying to let some of this chicken digest. Yeah, you're fighting two battles right now. That's right. Okay. This one's quite a bit running. All right. So I'll try to go easy on this one. Oh, yeah, that's real watery. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh boy. <clears throat> I don't like this. <laughs> I know this one's all right. <laughs> this one doesn't seem that hot though, so it doesn't have a lot of heat, but it's got like, <clears throat> oh man, I don't know, vapors or something. I don't know. Am I using the ra- uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, <laughs> I'm getting the vapors. Oh, oh lord, oh lord, I'm getting the vapors. Um, no, but it's got like this. Uh, aroma. are you getting that? Like it's just kind of like, like um, wafting into like your eyes and your nostrils. No, I think I'm good. Oh, no, it's clearing me out. It's clearing my sinuses. It's kind of <laughs> making my eyes water a little bit. But it's, oddly, it's not that hot. Like, there's not very little heat in this one, mm. honestly. Um, whew. Well, I, I guess my nose is getting a little... <coughs> it's clogging up a little bit. I, I don't know. <clears throat> Next question. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, do you have any funny stories about school or your time in the military that comes to mind? School or time in the military? Yeah, your choice. Oh, boy. Oh. Military stories come easier to my mind than school stories because I'm kind of old. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, we can all agree with that. Yeah. Um, let's see. I can just start in basic training and just, there's so many stories that come to mind. Uh, the first one that actually popped into my head was we had a, a TI, a training instructor. Uh, you might, when you watch movies for non-military types, you might think uh, a drill sergeant. Uh, that's kind of what I'm talking about. So a military training, training instructor for the Air Force. <clears throat> uh, we had a really mean one that would come through and do inspection on our bays. And they would, you know, make sure that the bed was made properly, mm-hmm. um, check your clothing drawer, check your wall locker. Uh, we had a thing called a security drawer, which was like where you would keep like your money and things like that, mm-hmm. valuables. Well, the clothing drawer was like his favorite thing to look at because it was so uh-huh. hard. Because you had to, to fold your T-shirts into the, like there was exact measurements that it had to be. 
and the creases had to be perfectly straight and all mm. this kind of thing. <clears throat> it was really difficult, but the whole idea is that they, they're teaching you attention to detail. Like, don't be sloppy with your work kind of thing. And he came through one time, and uh, one of the things that TIs like to do is see who they can get to laugh. Uh-huh. I'd be and so bad at that. And, yeah, and they're so practiced at keeping the straight face and sounding mean or mm-hmm. upset or whatever. Well, <clears throat> this guy, he comes through yelling at us. He puts his at attention after he inspected our clothing mm-hmm. drawers. And, in fact, he I think he took a couple drawers and, like, just dumped them out on the floor or, like, flipped them over into the bay or whatever. And uh, he go, he's screaming. He's like, he's like, those fucking clothing drawers look like shit! <laughs> looks around and everybody's just kind of like yeah uh-huh. we know okay and then uh, then he, he when he doesn't see anybody laugh or or break um, the position of attention he goes it looks like two dogs crawled in there and fucked half the flight <laughs> lost it lost it uh, I, don't, I don't remember if we did push ups or what the punishment was but <laughs> it was it was pretty bad but it <laughs> Like almost everything in basic training, it sucked at the time, but makes for the best stories. It is so much fun to to look back on. on Everything's way funnier in hindsight. Yeah, like probably uh, these wing the these nugs here. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's 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 a, <laughs> that's a good one I think that came to mind. All right, second to last. <sighs> okay, Budapest fire. Budapest fire. <sighs> <laughs> here we go we're almost done we're almost done yeah we have no idea Th- these could be the the weakest or they could be absolutely insane we have no idea yeah not a clue all right that one that's been marinating down there i'm saving that one for last yeah that's gonna be your funeral yeah that's gonna suck all right this is another one of those that seems thick comes out starts to come out slow and then it just once it's flowing it just wants to pour out <clears throat> Someone sa- smells kind of sweet. Yeah, squid. Um, they are somewhat weak. Uh, we've had what two, two pretty strong ones. Yeah, two of them have been pretty strong. Yeah, uh, the rest of them been f- mild or weak. I would even say. Uh, but the thing is, like, we don't have scobles or anything on these sauces. They're we all we have is the name of them, and not even ingredients. So mm. we're kind of flying blind. It's from a gift set, so we we don't know what they are. So it's yeah. part of the fun. Ugh. Yeah. So, all right. So okay. number nine. Mm. This is another one of those vinegar ones. Mm. I do not like it. <clears throat> Oh, Anna's got some heat coming in. Mm. <laughs> this one's dad's killer. <laughs> oh my god! I, <clears throat> Everything in me wants to go spit it out. <clears throat> <laughs> it's only because I'm being watched <laughs> <laughs> that I'm keeping it together. Oh. Not good. Not good. I'm trying <clears throat> to finish this last nug. This nug here. Yeah, and there's that too. Like, I'm really full right now. Mm-hmm. So it was a struggle to even, like, just get my jaw to chew. Oh, <clears throat> man. So the previous the previous sauces have really gotten, the, like, the tip of the tongue. This one's going under and on the sides. Ooh. All right. So <clears throat> to take my mind... Off of this horrible sauce. Ugh. <laughs> I'm I think go it ahead. Mine. I'm gonna read my final question for you. Okay. This was actually a question that was suggested by Amos. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, if I can even talk. <laughs> You're gonna have to answer the last question. <laughs> yeah. All right, Luke. <clears throat> I was in the Air Force 
during your entire childhood. Uh huh. As a military child, you've had to move from place to place and constantly endure change. Mm -hmm. Do you think that has helped or hindered your ability to be a productive adult? And how did it help or hinder? Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, he had to add the adult part in there. <sighs> Could have talked okay. about just my experience, but uh, see, I'm brand new adult, guys, okay? <laughs> <laughs> At least I still feel like it. Um, yeah, so traveling around a lot has made it easier to, uh, I guess not, not get attached as much. Hmm. Like it's easier to, uh, say goodbye to someone, you know? You think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, it's definitely both. Um, hmm. <clears throat> like I, I'm not used to having as long as long friendships, you know? I, I definitely have them now, but, uh. Mm -hmm. I think we've lived here in our current home longer than we lived anywhere else. Yeah, seven <clears> years <throat> here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our, our previous uh, longest, I guess our second longest, would be five years. Mm -hmm. So five years in Germany, and you were in Vegas for five years as well, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I did a year in Korea while you were in Vegas, so you've got a lot more Vegas time than I do. Yeah, but you experienced <clears throat> Vegas way more than I did. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, and also, I've been, I've visited Vegas many, many times because of the Air Force, because of Nellis Air Force Base there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've visited Vegas many times. I mean, so many times that it probably makes up for that year that I was gone. I've probably been mm -hmm. in Vegas for collectively over five years, honestly. So, all, all <clears throat> definitely, I, I would say my, my empathy is probably not as high as it could be if i did stay in one area but just traveling around a lot uh i feel like i'm able to put my put myself in other people's shoes quite easier because i have many more people that mm. i've experienced uh like being in germany we would have a lot of uh people coming <clears throat> in and out so there was just there was that and also just meeting different types of people everywhere mm -hmm. um but i I don't think about what people think about me as much, so I think that's the greatest strength from it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the, there's a lot of negatives that I could call out about being in the military. Uh, <clears throat> one of those being uh, the fact that, that we had to move so much, right? Mm -hmm. and it was very hard for you to get to know any of your family, like extended family. Yeah, I mean, that's... Grandparents, cousins, aunts, uncles, things like that. That's a huge one, yeah. And, um, however, the great thing that I don't know, I mean, be, you know, make your own judgment if one outweighs the other, but a gigantic advantage that I see, at least for myself, about having been to so many places around the world is that empathy piece, right? You get to see how other people live, you get to understand other cultures, experience other languages, food, things like that, mm -hmm. where I, I kind of feel bad for people that have grown up in their own small, excuse me, their own small town and never really left it. Like they would go on vacation 20 miles away and then mm. go right back home. And that's the extent of their travel. Um, they have a very limited view of the world. And, um, I kind of pity that a little bit. Um, uh, travel, not now, not now. Wait for the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Man. Um, but if, if I could give anybody a piece of advice, especially uh, a young person, like, you know, teenager, uh, 20s, um, or actually anyone, really. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're never too old. Um, but, yeah, get out there. See other places. Go see how other people live. Uh, a lot of the, the divide that we have, like, cultural divide that we have in the country, uh, whether it's red versus blue or, uh, mm. you know, southerners versus city folk, you know, or whatever, yeah, right? yeah. Um, a lot of that comes from just a lack of understanding. I think if people could see things from someone else's point of view, they wouldn't be as mean or um, opinionated, I guess, about mm -hmm. things, uh, you know, things or people that are different from them. Um, so yeah, travel and experience things. That's that's one thing that the Air Force gave me the opportunity to do, and I'm forever grateful <clears throat> for having that opportunity. Uh, 
All right, man. Oh, okay. Last nug. What do we got? What's our last sauce? Last sauce here is Hawaiian lava flow hot sauce. So this is okay. A so coming Hawaiian from, lava. <laughs> coming from Hawaii, I'm not really expecting a lot of heat. Uh, okay. Let's knock on some wood here. Uh, that might come back to haunt me. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not, because. Oh geez, that, no, no, no. you got a lot. I'm gonna dip it you in there. Got a there lot. we go. Oh, We're doing God. extra for the last one. Well, this one, like I said, this one's been marinating for the whole episode in this puddle that I got over here from the first one. So, all right. Okay. Oh man, this is not gonna go good. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, I'm not toasting this one. This one. Yeah, it's okay. Let's get it over with. You yep, ready? Yep, let's go. <clears throat> All right. It's back to that one. It's like that one a couple ago that I was... Oh, the vapors. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not real hot, but it's got one of those like science clearing effects on me. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. Oh, boy. Yeah, my nose is getting real clogged up right now. Yeah, as my as my nostrils are clearing. Um, oh boy! <clears throat> you have a final question for uh, me? Yep. Let's let's see that. Oh. Mm. Okay. So I figured he wouldn't be able to talk as much by this point. Oh god! So <laughs> start with some. We'll, we'll we'll finish with something easier. Besides Star Wars, what movie have you seen the most, and what's your thought of it right now? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much anybody that knows me knows I'm a Star Wars fan, and I've seen those movies, like the original trilogy, dozens, if not hundreds of times. Um, probably 1989's Batman, Tim Burton's Batman. That is probably the movie that I've seen the most outside of the Star Wars franchise. That movie came out when I was in seventh grade. <clears throat> so it came out on VHS <laughs> when I was probably mm, I'm trying to think. It was probably like in the spring, I think, of 90, right? So I would have been like just finishing up seventh grade and like that summer i watched that movie probably every day or close to it wow and some days <laughs> i would watch it twice like i've i've still got that movie pretty much memorized like if you told me it'd be a fun game yeah to say a line in that movie and then i'll say the next line oh, like no. <laughs> i i'm pretty sure i could i could probably nail it um and it's been a while since i've seen it but over the course of my lifetime, I've seen that movie many, 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 many times. Dozens of times, at, at least. Um, I still like it. I watched it not too long ago. I think it was on like Prime or, Netflix or, uh, or Netflix or something. And uh, probably, like, I don't know, two months ago or something. A month and a half, two months ago. And I still like it quite a bit. Uh, it's got just enough camp in it. Um and just enough, like, you know, dark. Mm. Uh, well, you know, Tim Burton with his dark environments and uh, a little bit of dark humor thrown in there and things like that. Um, it holds up, man. Uh, if you guys haven't seen 1989's Batman in a long time, go back and check it out. You'll probably still like mm -hmm. it. <clears throat> Honestly, personally, I probably watched the Batman Returns more. Mm. Uh, I like that one, too. Yeah, it's got everyone's favorite Danny DeVito. 
<laughs> yeah. But more importantly, yeah. Kellen's in there, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie made me fall in love, or lust, really, <laughs> with Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, man. Catwoman. Mm. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> now, I like that one, too. <laughs> when uh, Christopher Nolan took over. What, no, not Christopher Nolan. Who took nope. over. Um, who am I thinking of? Who took... For the Dark Knight stuff? No, no, no. Before Christopher Nolan oh, was the Dark uh... Knight. But talking about Batman, uh, yeah, Batman and Robin, that, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. was that? Forever, uh, yeah, I'm drawing a blank right now, yeah, for some reason. It's probably the damn sauces, uh, it, yeah, that dude ruined the franchise, like, it, it was bad. Batman Forever sucks, <laughs> Batman and Robin sucks, really bad, like, they're they're bad movies. Like, really bad. Uh, oh, Joe Schumacher. Yes, thank you. Schumacher. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> That's all I got to say <laughs> about that. All right, man. We finished the challenge. We had 10 nugs with 10 different hot sauces. As predicted, they didn't go from from mildest to hottest. Honestly, the middle is probably the worst. Yeah. Those were hot, man. Those were hot. Yeah, let's have that curve happen quickly as well with the whole coronavirus thing. Uh, yeah, let's flatten that curve, guys. <sighs> Stay the fuck at home. If I didn't have to be at work because I'm mission essential, yeah, I would not be leaving the house. Um, if you're an essential worker, um, my hat's off to you. Uh, do what you got to do. Just be safe. Protect yourself. Mm. Wash your hands often. Hand sanitizer if you can't wash your hands. Yep. Keep that six six foot um, distance if you can. Mm. Uh, CDC is now saying that you can you can get it just from being around someone breathing, uh, which is common sense I thought, uh, but now they're saying it out loud where it's not necessarily a sneeze or a cough. It could just be from being in the vicinity of someone that's breathing. Uh, so yeah, so just be safe out there. Uh, be smart. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Um, let's see what what else we have on the uh, on the show notes here before we wrap up. I, I I'm not sure, but uh, my, my right eye has been wanting to like tear up for six six nuggies, <laughs> like for a while now. Oh, here we go. I will I will show this. This will be the the final thing that I show. Um. So this was announced today. You brought it to my attention. Oh, so uh -huh. South by Southwest was canceled this year. So we had South by So canceled. Um, that as, as fun as that was, uh, none of the events were able to go on because of this damn virus that's going around. Uh, but now South by Southwest has announced in conjunction with Amazon Prime uh, that they are going to present the film festival, the South by Southwest film festival free to everyone on Amazon. You don't even have to be an Amazon Prime member. Uh, if you have a, all you need is a free Amazon account. So if you've ever in your life ordered something from Amazon, you've got the account you need. Just log into Amazon and you'll be able to watch these movies. It's a, what, what do they say? A 10 day festival, I think. I, I believe I saw 10 days um, as well. Yeah. So you've got 10 days to watch these movies on demand. So it's not like it's a live experience. They'll be available on demand. These are the films that would have been pre presented at the film festival. Um, I, I think it's really great. Like I said, you don't even need to be a Prime member. You can just go there and see these these great movies. Um, I'm pretty thrilled about it. I'm looking forward to that. I don't ever buy the badge for South By anyway, so I've never been able to, to see any of these movies. And I always wondered, like, man, what would it be like to, to see these movies? Um, you know, like a lot of them are like indie mm. art films and things like that. Uh, where they bring them to these festivals to try to get exposure and try to maybe get somebody to buy mm -hmm. the distribution for it and things like that. And I always wondered how cool would that be. Uh, well, now all of us get to experience that separate but together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, they say in the article that they don't have an exact date 
for when it's going to come out, but they mm-hmm. said expect like late April. So later this month, hopefully we're going to be able to check those things out. So uh, no, this is great. Hopefully they do this for more more festivals. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and speaking of Amazon Prime, this is another thing that happened. Uh, I think it was just today that it was announced that uh, you know how Apple is so protective of their ecosystem that if you want to have an app on either iOS or tvOS or what have you, they're going to take 30% of whatever you make Mm -hmm. on their platform with your app, they're going to take 30%. Well, apparently Amazon and Apple reached a deal where that's going away. So we're going to be able to rent and purchase movies right there in app on the Apple TV. And I think that is freaking amazing. You can do that on your phone too. It's about damn time. I actually made a purchase a few few days ago and I had to go on my computer to to buy it. Yeah. Well, the crazy thing is you can use Safari. Yeah. You, you know, log into your Prime account in Safari on your phone <laughs> and buy the damn thing and then go back over to your app and refresh it or whatever and, lo- mm-hmm. and whoa, there's your movie. It's the <laughs> dumbest thing. Um, thank you, Apple, for finally coming to your senses on that. I probably don't even want to know the backdoor deal that that yeah, that no. made that happen. But um, as the consumer, I'm pretty thrilled about that. Um, all right, so this is where we're gonna wrap this up. Lucas, do you have something you want to promote or somewhere that people can follow what you've got going on? Uh, well, you can follow my Twitter at Movie Man Lucas, and uh, stay tuned for any potential podcast that we might do (laughs) yeah so in addition to uh him making guest appearances here as a co-host on the ritual misery podcast we do have something else in the works um i'm not ready to to lift the lid on that just yet i want to have something actually recorded and maybe maybe we'll we'll make a trailer and we'll debut like oh yeah like a 30 second trailer or something right here on rmp so we'll see uh, but look for that. That is going to be part of the RMP Extra that I was talking about last week. Um, so, yeah, I'm super looking forward to that. This is going to be a super fun project. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to work with you on this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to presenting it to you guys too. It's, it's going to be cool. I guarantee you've never seen a show like this. Um, <clears throat> all right. So if you want to follow me, I am RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter. But pretty much anywhere else that you might want to follow me, I'm either Del Noche or Del Noche 77. So check me out out there on the internet. Also, I want you in my Discord. I want you to answer questions for me and help me cheat on games. (laughs) And uh, no, there's always something really cool going on in the RMP Discord. We talk about streamathon things in there. We talk about um, upcoming games on the show. Uh, We let our Discordians, as we call them, uh, oh suggest topics for <laughs> for future RMP episodes. So get in there. We'd love to have you there. It's free. Uh, Bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Uh, you can find all these links in more ways to support the show and give us feedback over at RitualMisery.com. If you want to follow the show on Twitter, it's at RitualMisery. Go figure. Um, but yeah, so check it out. We are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash ritual misery and we're carried on diamond club tv um and i lost my place in my show notes it happens every week um <laughs> we also want to say thank you to kevin mcleod for allowing us to use your music uh thanks for listening yeah, thanks guys for luke for me and for all of you this has been your ritual misery podcast